Now, more public corporations in Korea are adopting the government's national competency standard, or, or the NCS system, to hire new employees. 130 corporations utilize the NCS system this year, and now private companies are beginning to implement the system as well. However, for college students who've, uh, who have gotten used to the grades and the languages and, and really which schools you went to are having a hard time adapting to these sudden changes. Oh Soo-young has the details. For Korean job seekers, the word spec means everything. SPEC refers to certifications in foreign languages, special skill sets, a high GPA and work experience. It's basically anything that can be added to your resume to gain that competitive edge. Job requirements differ from company to company depending on the positions. And that's why university students make strenuous efforts to fulfill as many qualifications as possible, spending on average around 36,000 US dollars and exhausting over 100,000 in opportunity costs. To overhaul such inefficiencies, the Korean government has enforced the implementation of a hiring system called the National Competency Standard, or NCS, across 130 public companies this year. NCS is comprised of a general application, standardized tests and an interview, with each process specifying the required skill sets and qualifications for 857 occupations. NCS is expected to reduce time and socioeconomic costs as it gives job applicants a clear understanding of what skill sets and requirements are needed. Also, it will help companies save costs on employee training. The NCS will expand to 230 public corporations next year, as well as private companies. However, many students are finding these changes difficult to adapt to. The public enterprises require more specialized knowledge and as a liberal arts major I kind of felt burdensome to study for those special words. A survey revealed that more than 50 percent found preparing for NCS standards burdensome and experts say helping students transition to this new process may take some time. Adapting to this system took 100 years in Europe and 30 years in Australia. In Korea, the system was expanded too quickly and developing application models takes time. In the long run, the government will continue to enhance the new hiring system, along with a complementary scheme called the Work and Learning Dual System. This will create coordination between companies and educational institutions, so students can gain practical knowledge and skills relevant to their desired jobs. Oh Soo-young, Arirang News.